Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share a little bit of a baby update because I know I share quite a lot about pregnancy updates, but I haven't really shared everything that we have so far for baby girl. So I wanted to share all the things that we've bought and kind of what her room is looking like. I've mentioned this before. We aren't planning on doing like a full setup nursery. My sister's actually coming to live in the second room for a little bit. And so we won't even be able to really touch it until closer to baby girl's due date, which is totally fine. Um, but for the first like couple months, I actually plan on just setting up a bassinet right beside our bed and having her sleep beside us in our room. And so I'll show you what I plan on doing in our bedroom. And then I will go into the second room and show you everything we've bought so far and kind of my vision and plan for baby girls little room. So my plan for in here in our bedroom is that this dresser is going to be hers. So right now, all that I have in the top drawer is actually her part of her bassinet and then just a few other things of mine that I'll just take out eventually. But this drawer, I'm going to leave to insert baskets and little con containers. I cannot speak apparently that I will keep diapers, extra clothes, like towel blankets and just anything that we might need kind of like this is going to be her changing station so everything for changing her diaper and all of that stuff anything we might need in the middle of the night it's all going to go in here um so i'll probably just have this drawer be hers this drawer right now is rodolfo's clothes and then mine i'm not sure if i will make the whole thing hers but right now the only plan is to put a changing pad up here probably move a mirror up onto the wall so that there's room for her to have a changing pad and then in here will be diapers and wipes and extra little things maybe a couple extra outfits but that's all that's going to be in our room of hers and then i plan on putting her bassinet on this side of the bed just so that when she wakes up at night and i need to nurse her or anything whatever I don't have to like walk somewhere else. I literally just lean over and pull her out of her little crib and into bed with us. So that is the plan for their bassinet will go there. Her changing station will be here with that top drawer. And then I do plan on putting, so you can see like I have a bucket under here with my stuff. I plan on getting a basket full of like late night essential things that I might need. So I will update you guys once I have all the supplies and what I decide to put beside the bed, just so that if we need anything really quick that I don't have to get out of bed, I can just reach over and grab everything that I might need. So that's basically what's gonna be happening here in our bedroom. And then this is baby girl's room. So right now that's all storage. Sorry, it's gonna be really echoey in here. But this is what we have set up so far. Um, this is the biggest purchase we've made yet. We got the Modes Jogger from Graco. We went and tried them all out and I really, really liked this one. My favorite thing about it is that you can see down here, it has seven different options of how you can set this thing up. So it's pretty flexible for wherever you're going, whatever you want and whatever you like your car seat, I mean, your stroller to look like. And it also came with the car seat. So we haven't unboxed that yet, but we have that. And then this is the mirror that I'm probably gonna end up putting on top of her, um, our dresser, her changing table in our bedroom on the wall. And then in the closet, this is gonna be her closet. So like I mentioned in our master room, she will just have the one drawer of stuff, but then I'm gonna leave all of her other clothes and things in here because it's right next door. It's not that big of a deal for me to walk over here in the morning to get her clothes. So I plan on hanging up all of her clothes that fit her when she's born on this rack. And then I'm gonna get baskets for these three cubby holes and do one with like clothes that are six to nine months or anything that we get from baby showers that aren't gonna fit her right away, but that we obviously wanna keep for the future. I'll put them all in baskets up here and then I'll just switch out whatever size she is depending on how she's growing and as the months go on. That's kind of like my basic plan right now. This could all change. <laughs> and then I stuck this, sorry, we're also using this as storage right now. We did just move into our house. Um, I stuck this little cabinet in here and in there, there are three shelves, which I will probably just put more baskets and it'll be extra things. I'll just keep like extra diapers and stuff. That's part of her bassinet that will go in our room. But down here, I'll just keep extra diapers and wipes and any other extra baby stuff that we might have. 
And then I'm not really sure what will be in the cupboard, but again, it'll be extra stuff or more clothes or little socks or just kind of whatever ends up going in there. This is a cute, I thought this basket looked cute. I really wanna do a lot of baskets in her room. Um, kind of all throughout our house actually. So right now I've thrown everything that we have for baby in this basket Which I'll go through with you guys in a second But I plan on keeping one of these beside my bed with any like le late night essentials I might need but then I'll probably also keep one here I don't know what I'll put in there whether it's like diapers or random stuff But that's what we have so far for baby girl So I have a little like a bit of like a closet layout of how I want to do it and then we just have these two, <laughs> this one item really. But I'm gonna go through all the little things we have for her now, but this is what her room looks like. And yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we have time to plan for that. Also, before I show you guys all this stuff, I wanted to show you a quick little bump date, a bump update because the stress really shows off the bump. So I feel like it's a good one to show you guys. You can see my belly button, but this is what my bump looks like. I'm almost 24 weeks pregnant. And she is growing in there. Hello, belly button. Looking like. She's in there. I'm just going to prop myself up here on the bed and go through everything that we have for baby girl and show you guys. So I got the basket right here. Um, if you saw my video about us moving, I shared everything that we got in our Babies RS welcome like package for having a registry. So I'll link that down below and up here. You can click on that if you wanna see everything you get when you sign up for a registry with Babies R Us. I was pleasantly surprised with what we got. And then we have, we did get gifted this cute little baby towel um, from family. So we just have that thrown in here. Um, I have a frame that I eventually wanna put her little ultrasound picture in. I have, I've showed this before, but I have one of my old baby dresses that I think is so cute because then she can wear it. Um, the rest is clothes. So, oh, and I have this little bag because I want to use little baggies like this for extra diapers or stuff because I think they're really cute and it's just like a stylish way to keep baby stuff organized because I'm all about things still looking cute. Like it can be organized and practical, but I can still stick it in the cute bag. So <laughs> I have that. So these are the clothes that I have for her so far, which I just think are the cutest things ever. Um, I picked these, this little one up and this little one up from Walmart. They have them like two for $5. So I got them in the zero to three month size. I have been told to mainly focus on getting clothes in zero to three months because a lot of babies don't even fit in newborn clothes. My mom said that like for me, I fit in newborn clothes for maybe a week. So it's not really worth having a ton. So I might get a couple outfits in case she happens to come like a week or two early and is really little. Or if we end up having a really little baby girl, I have no idea, obviously until day of. So I'm mainly focusing on getting zero to three month clothes because I know she'll fit them sooner rather than later. And then I'll get a couple newborn things, just a handful. And then worst case scenario, we live really close to a couple of my favorite like children's stores where I can get baby clothes. And so if she preemie or if she's really tiny and doesn't fit anything, we can just go buy new ones or I can send Rodolfo to the store and be like, just buy a week's worth of onesies. Um, but I got these two. I thought they were so freaking cute. Okay, I did get this little blue dress that I thought was so cute. The rest of these are all from Once Upon a Child, which I'm obsessed with because they were all under $5, which is such a good deal. Um, so I got this cute little striped dress. I love the little pink bow as the detail. And then it's got the button up bottoms. So I love that because I love one pieces for babies. I think it's easier for changing their diapers. And no, I'm not saying that from personal experience with my own children, but I have a lot of little siblings. And I know it's just easier to change a diaper when it's all one thing. I got this cute little, this was like $3, I think. Just a super cute, basic pink onesie, but the fabric's really soft. I'm all about soft fabrics for babies because they their skin is just so sweet and tender. I just want to put a little soft fabrics on them, nothing too scratchy. I love this one. Again, this was 3 or $4 from Once Upon a Child. I don't know if you can tell, but it has little bunnies on it so it's super cute and it's just this like faded like pink with these little bunnies i love babies in these little onesies i think they look so cozy all wrapped up in them and i can just imagine her coming out of bath and it has little foot feet the foots <laughs> and so you don't have to worry about anything this is all she'll need and that's so great 
Um, okay, I got this one I think is so cute. It's a little yellow with like these little flower prints. Is that going to focus there for you guys? And I love the little detailing of the buttons and this little lace around the top. So I think that's really cute. And then the last one that I got from Once Upon a Child is this little dress. So it's really cute. That is everything in my basket of baby randomness. I'm just going to keep adding to it. I want to go to Once Upon a Child a couple more times and get a few more things because they're so cute. We obviously still have so much we need to get for her, but I've mentioned this in previous videos. We are waiting until after our baby showers, like because I have things like a changing table and changing pads and diapers and wipes on our registry and like a diaper pail is on our registry. And so I want to hold off on buying those kind of things until we know whether we will need them or not. Because if I go buy it and then someone buys it off for my off of our registry, I just feel like why am I even doing that? Obviously, as we get closer to the date when we start setting everything up, it'll be really fun to share with you guys how we're kind of like baby prepping our entire home for her little arrival. But we're still a couple months, four months away from welcoming her here. And so I'm just taking it really slow and kind of enjoying the process of not rushing anything and just kind of taking it day by day and slowly buying things here and there that I think are really cute and precious. But honestly, like looking at how tiny these are, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like that's going to be my child right here. She's going to be so little and so cute. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed seeing this and you would like more baby updates, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I, may, I upload videos two times a week where we are newlyweds expecting our first baby girl in June of this year. Why can't I not speak? I almost said June of this month. June of this year and we're just really excited for this next chapter in our lives. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.